Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Anubhav and today I'm going to talk about Cisco ASAV route based VPN. In this video, I will show you how can you connect your virtual private cloud with your Azure VNet. Before I talk about route based VPN, let me talk a little bit about policy based VPN and challenges with policy based VPN. If you want to create VPN tunnel between two sites and you opt for policy based VPN, then you will have to write policy and inside that policy you will define your source and destination address. If your environment is pretty flexible where you add and remove networks pretty frequently, in that particular situation you have to rewrite policy each time when you change your subnet. Now on the other side with route based VPN, instead of writing policies, we create tunnel interface at each location and uh, we run static uh, routing or use dynamic routing protocol and based on the advertisement of my routing protocol I encrypt traffic so I still have uh, a power of that IPsec uh, instead of writing policies I'm using route updates to encrypt my traffic so if I add a new network in site A, I will simply advertise that route and other site will automatically learn it and traffic in uh, traffic will go through my tunnel interface. So this will give you more flexibility if your environment is flexible. In this particular example, I have one ASA deployed in Azure, other ASAs in uh, Amazon Web Services. I'm using route-based VPN to connect these two environments. On site A, which is my Azure environment, I have multiple subnets and uh, uh, CIDR range for Azure is 10 16. Other side is 10 16. And uh, I am running BGP and I'm redistributing my connected routes as well as my static routes. And I still have my IPsec, so my traffic which will leave Azure and when it will reach uh, Amazon Web Services during transit, it is still encrypted. Let me talk a little bit about routes. Um, here on public cloud, um, we have UDR in Azure, in Azure environment. I'm going to add a route, a route for entire um, cider range of uh, Amazon Web Services, virtual private cloud, and point it to inside interface of the ASA. And on the other side, I will do similar kind of activity where I will use complete cider range of uh, Amazon or Azure subnet and point it to inside interface of the ASA. For this, I will use UDR in Azure and route table in Amazon Web Services. Apart from that, this is how you will configure your route-based VPN. You will still define your phase one and phase two policies. In, in addition to this, you will create tunnel interface, you will assign IP to that tunnel interface, and you will define source interface. And on the destination side, you will give public IP address of um, Azure ASA. And then you will create your BGP, um, uh, BGP uh, process and inside that you will define all the um, information. You will give your neighbor information. You will distribute your connected and static routes. Similar kind of configuration is required on the Azure side as well. So uh, configuration is pretty simple. I'm going to paste these commands in the description of this video. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, log into Azure and Amazon Web Services and I'll show you a quick demo on how I deployed everything. Welcome back, I'll show you my VPC configuration. I have created VPC for this demo. Inside that VPC I have multiple subnets. So I'm going to show you VPC first. So um, CIDR range for this VPC is 10 14 0, 0, 16. Inside this VPC I have uh, four subnets outside inside DMZ1 and DMZ2. For this demo I'm just using outside and inside. I also have an internet uh, gateway which is attached to uh, my VPC 
and now let me show you my route table uh, so in this route table I have a default route which is pointing to my internet gateway I have a local route which is created by default when I created this VPC I also have a route for 10 12 0, 0, slash 16 which is CIDR range for my Azure environment and I'm pointing it to uh, ENI or VNIC of my ASA's inside interface if I look at subnet association, I have associated this route table to outside subnet and inside subnet. Now let's quickly go to uh, EC2 instances and I'll show you my instances there. I have ASA. On ASA, I have four interfaces, but for this demo, I'm just using ETH0 and ETH1 outside and inside. I have uh, this Windows machine and this machine is located on inside subnet and IP is 10.14.1.5. Now let me quickly go in inside Azure environment and I'll show you my resource group in Azure. Uh, this is my resource group. I have this ASA. Um, and on this ASA again, I have four interfaces, but I'm just using first two interfaces for um, for this demo. I have uh, a Windows machine as well. And if I click here on this Windows machine, uh, this is public IP address of this win Windows machine. And I'll show you internal IP address of this machine as well, which is 10, 12, 1, 6. So it is on inside of uh, Azure environment. Let me go back to this resource group and show you my VNet. So if you look at this particular VNet, I have outside, inside DMZ and DMZ2. And uh, my Windows server is in this network, inside network. And subnet range for inside network is 10, 12, 1, 0, slash 24. I'll go back to my uh, resource group again, and I will show you this route table, inside route table. This inside route table is attached to inside subnet, 10, 12, 1, 0, slash 24. And I have this route, which is route for 10, 14, 0, 0, slash 16. And this subnet is um, on the other side in Azure environment. And I have pointed this to dot 10.12.1.4, which is inside interface address of my ASA. Now I'm going to log into my um, Windows machines and my ASAs and I will show you traffic flow. Welcome back. I'm inside my ASAs. Uh, I'll show you Azure ASA. I have 1.1.1.1 as my tunnel interface here. I will run show IP here again. On the Azure side, I have 1.1.1.2 as my tunnel interface. I will do show route. I'm learning other side, AWS side via tunnel interface. And I will do show route here as well. I'm learning Azure side through my tunnel interface. On Azure side, I I can show you, uh, this is my inside network, but I can add a route 192.168.0 slash, I'm going to do a slash 16 route and point it to first IP address of inside subnet which is Azure Gateway and let's see if I have this new route here 
we have this new route on the other side. So this is pretty flexible. Um, you can run uh, routing protocol and redistribute your routes. I'm going to show you now my IPsec SA, Isaacamp SA, and then I will show you show crypto IPsec SA. I can see in caps and decaps on this interface. Let me go ahead and run show crypto Isaacamp SA. Okay, my tunnel is active. IPsec SA. I can see in caps and decaps here. Now let me quickly log into my Windows machines. So I have access to this guy here. So IP address for this machine is 10 12 1 6. I'm going to ping 10 14 1 5 from here. And let me place a conti continuous ping and I will quickly go to the other machine as well. I will ping 10 12 1.5. I guess it was 6, but let me check. Yeah, it is 6. And I'll go back to my firewalls. Let me do a debug ICMP trace. You can see traffic is going through the device. I'll do an all and show crypto IPsec essay. Yeah, so traffic is going through the IPsec tunnel and instead of policy based VPN, we are using route based VPN. So in this video, just to summarize, I talked about route-based VPN. I talked a little bit about policy-based VPN. I showed you uh, Amazon Web Services configuration. I showed you uh, VPC, VNet, Internet Gateway, route, route table, and uh, ASA configuration. And similarly, I showed um, Azure side of configuration as well, my VNet, route table, or UDR, and then I showed you that traffic is going through the tunnel, and I showed uh, advertising a bigger route, and the other ASA on the other side learned it. So encryption will happen based on my route advertisement. I can use um, a dynamic routing protocol, or I can use static routes as well. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.